Okay, we're going to look at how do you discretize the Boltzmann equation into the lattice Boltzmann equation and also how do we discretize the equilibrium function. First, we note that the Boltzmann equation is um, formulated in terms of the continuous particle velocity here um, before it's discretized. So this is a continuous particle velocity. This is the rate of change of the population function f with time and the evolution of that uh, function f in space. And on the right-hand side, you have the collision function, which at this, this stage is just left as omega as a function of f. We define the BGK collision operator as the difference between the population function and its equilibrium value, f equilibrium, divided by the time scale tau. And the equilibrium function is defined using the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function um, in its exact form as, uh, as given here. Uh, this is then adapted to account for a moving equilibrium. So this is the difference between the discrete particle velocity c and the macroscopic flow velocity u. So note that we've moved from the continuous particle velocity to the discrete particle velocity and we introduce also um, the, the value of cs, which is equal to which is the speed of sound, which is equal to 1 over root 3. So our f equilibrium function is now effectively equal to this term here. And so what we now have to do is discretize both the Boltzmann equation and the equilibrium function. Starting with the Boltzmann equation, we discretize this as follows. And we have our distribution function f at the next time step, d, uh, t plus delta t, is equal to our distribution function at the current time step. Then um, take away the contribution due to the collision term, f minus f equilibrium. And now we discretize the uh, equilibrium function, this term here, um, which we're going to expand first using Taylor series approximation. So you're taking the term in the brackets here, c dot u, all squared. This is c dot c, 2 times u dot c, and u dot u. Noting that c dot c is equal to c squared, and u dot u is equal to u squared. So this can be further simplified by noting that there are constant values. We take it outside the brackets, and uh, another a term here which needs to be expanded using the Taylor series approximation. And the Taylor series approximation for the exponential of x is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2. So we apply that here to this whole term. So this is 1. x is all of that. Copy pasted here. And then x squared divided by 2 is all of that squared divided by 2. And by the time we get to order 3 terms where our velocity is to the power 3, we can start to, to stop because they're uh, of too high order to be of use in this expression. Then we gather up those terms. So we have the constant, the exponential constant, and what we've just derived. And this gives us a second order accurate version of the equilibrium function.